Alrighty. Here we are. Frilled lizard again. But it's not gonna be. Oh, God. Here we are with the frilled lizard again. It's not gonna be all about him. Ah. Uh, come here. Sorry, that cactus spilled. Anyways, it's not gonna be all about him. Uh, however, it'll be about probably those guys. Maybe a little bit about him. So, I think he's eating right now. So, here this guy is. Let me, uh, find my mealworms. And I can feed him. So... So, as you know, I talked a little about them, uh, but mainly, mainly, pretty much if you buy a beer dragon and let's say it dies, and you want to one-up one and get a frill this one. Okay, well, you don't have to go buy anything, because everything that the... Uh, everything that the bearded dragon had, great, now he's stuck in this crevice, everything that the, uh, I am just all messed up today, sorry. Sorry, I am just all messed up. The bearded dragon... Everything that you gave the bearded dragon is all you need for. Oh my god. It's all you need for the. Uh... Okay then. I don't know if he just don't want to eat today, but. Anyways, everything that you have for the frail bearded dragon will work just fine for the frail lizard. Actually, I will take that out. I will take that off. Take that out too. And I probably need to put some water this dish. So I moved it. It used to be over there. Now I moved it. But I also realized earlier today, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, there's spider webs all in there. So, now, good. Now, I gotta figure out how to get the spider out. Because I don't really, really like spiders. They just aren't my kind of friend. So, now, oh yeah. See? Oh, I don't know. Is that cobwebs or is that spider webs? Because I'm not seeing a spider. So. I have two things that I use for him. I use that and I use that for him to hide in. He usually sleeps up there. Whenever I turn his light on in the morning, he's up right there. He, he really spends most of his day hanging out there. I put a lot of crickets in there so he can run around and chase them so he gets some exercise but and then this is for a lock right here that I put on that I put on but my key 
there's some more out, so. That's not good. But, other, other than that, it's just, I mean, he's a small little easy lizard to take care of. So, and uh, the last video that we posted, what happened was the lizard accidentally hit the button and ended it, so that's why there's two videos on there. It's supposed to be one big long one, so we're just going to hope that that don't happen to me. Yeah. Alright, so on to... I don't know, we'll do this one first. Da Vinci. I gave him some water earlier. Oh yeah, and that's pretty much all I use for water. I don't use much for water. So, there he is. Come here. Come here, buddy. This one's a little more friendlier than most of them. But this guy's a little more slower. And he's off with his aim for trying to get mealworms and stuff. It takes him a couple of tries. On my Instagram, you can quite clearly see that. So, in the camera, he looks a little prettier, but he's actually kind of dark, so. That's that. And, as you can see, he's puffing up because, oh, God. That's what I have to do. It's like I'm screwing a bolt. <clears throat> I think he's starting to get mad, but usually he is the friendlier one. So, yeah, well, last video I was going to show my uh, giant day geckos. When one of them got out, about 45 minutes later, I finally got him in this cage. So, yay! But, those things are pretty cool. Okay, finally. So those things are pretty cool. And this, let me move. Let me move everything. So, these, this chameleon, is a panther chameleon and a, uh, what was it, I, can, I can't think of the precise breed. I think the top one was an abalone, but I, I don't know, I don't know. And, see, you, know, you want to go up there? I have that old thing for him to climb up there on. Alright. Come on, buddy. Okay. Well, I have to set the camera down for a minute. I might also not have to. So, it's cold outside, and it's kind of cold in here. That's why I'm wearing this. Um... Right here, if it'll fit, it'll stay. Sorry, this is gonna add another. God, I'm gonna add another ten minutes to the film. So, no, that's not what I want. So, sorry about that. Are you okay there? Okay, well, it's going to be like that, whether you like it or not, so, sorry about that. Also, sorry if I don't get good graphics either. 
not really the best cameraman live. Alright. So there's Da Vinci. And really their whole day they just climb up that. Climb all around. I mean some days I'll even find them over here on those ladders that I need to. I need to do something with these. I mean, I wanted to put one in hers because she don't. Well, one of them don't has one. I guess they don't have one. So I guess these ladders can go to someone. So I mean, I think you guys can decide in the comments. But I think. I'm going to put one of these in here, or, well, yeah, I'm going to put one of these in there, and then the other one I'm going to put in here. This is the day gecko. Here is my uh, crested geckos, and if I can find them, I'll show you them, but usually they hide, they hide in the back there, so... So, sorry, these guys are kind of old, too, so. There's one of them. So, I don't want to hurt the other one. That's also what I use for their water. This is the female of the group. They're okay. And I was wondering... See, he just gets all the way up there. I was wondering if I should put one of those in there with these guys. So, I don't know what I should do. Leave that in the comments so I know what to do because I can't decide. It takes me 15 hours to decide. So, you got that? Or you got that one, or that one, so. Comments below. Should I do it, or should I not? Alright. Yeah, so these, this is this guy. I'll make a video later about that guy. So, I'm behind on schedule for filming. Sorry. I, I Someday, maybe later today, I will film how to clean some of these cages. <laughs> he is the worst my iguana, but he's just the worst. That's all snot for him, because they spit out a lot of water. I have an outdoor cage, which I'll probably show later today, too. Um, as you can see, that's, that's my baby. And that's the adult one. That's the baby from him. The pretty, pretty one. So, I want to know how he's about the size of him. Alright. It looks like the battery's battery is going to die in a minute. So now I'll explain a little bit of his cage. So, all I use is this wire cage. You can buy them on Amazon for like a hundred bucks. So it's not that bad. I, I bought one of these ladders at a store for sale. Because Christmas, I got some money, and I decided I'm going to spend it on my lizards. So, <laughs> and that's not what most kids do whenever they have lizards and they get money for Christmas, but it's me. So, and then right here, this is just his water. It shoots out water. And let me see if I can find it. So, as you can see, there's part of it. And right there, it runs all the way up to this thing. This thing has multiple connectors. So, there that web stuff is again. Anyways, this connects to the water. I can see myself. Anyways, this connects to four different waters. But the thing about it, though, it's back there. But it has a connector, and the connector to this is just one. So then what happens, 
is it the connector at the bottom of the hose can go all different ways as long as you have the pipe which or the hose whatever so that's that um that's really the setup i have for this guy and obviously some fake leaves but as you can see that is a real leaf plant and i'm gonna open the window so i can get some light outside So yeah, that's this is part of my house. Yeah. Anyways, I'll let him run around on the grass sometimes. So, anyways, uh, that's what I use for him. He has a plant in there, but it's just kind of dying right now. This is my baby. He is. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna sell him. If I'm gonna sell him. Sorry, him. I'm thinking I'm going to keep him, but the only reason why I'm going to keep him is because, look. See that? He's kind of messed up at his tail. He was born like that. I don't know what happened to him. And he's kind of not the friendliest because I don't hold him all the time, but he's a good little lizard. And then <clears throat> this used to be a female. Obviously, she died. Well, that's sad. Uh, but this is my other female. She laid eggs and she hatched them. I sold most of them too. So, and then, <laughs> fun fact. They were all hatched in here. Every one. Oh, I shouldn't say that, most of them. Oh, let me show you this too. So, I don't want messes to get out, so I'm going to close that. So, as you can see, that's Mrs. Her real name's not Mrs., it's Mrs. Picasso, but. Let's see. I don't know if you can read that. It's not the most steadiest either. So, I'm gonna be wrapping the video up pretty soon because my battery's gonna die. But, anyways. <sighs> you know. But these. This goes in here. Let's see if I can show you one. <coughs> so that thing. It's not the best shot of it. That. That. Is that thing. So that is what pumps the water up and out. Obviously, eh, he doesn't need some water, but... And then it just flows down goes into there, comes back out, and that's just the whole thing. <coughs> and then, again, like I said, see right there, there it is, running all the way up. That's why that's all wet, so. But he barely comes down, he barely comes down for this, but obviously he's alive, so. Uh, 